What's up, Babu fam, and welcome back to my channel. Basically, I just decided this spur of the moment video. I feel like I get a lot of questions from you guys asking how I do my sleep bun. If you follow me or if you've been following me, you know this is like my go-to hairstyle. I only really wash my hair once or twice a week, so you know, when I'm going on that second week, we've got this situation happening. And to be honest, these oils really help me out. They help me achieve this nice, sleek hairstyle. So I just thought I would do a quick tutorial for you guys. I'm going to dinner with my friend. Don't judge me, I don't really know if this is really like what I'm wearing yet, but that's beside the point. What you are going to need is a big brush like this. And next, and maybe most importantly, and I feel like this is what really differs from my last sleek hair bun video, is these two babies, okay? I got these from the beauty supply store. It's called Wow, I'll link it down below, but I'll try to find similar ones on Amazon. So first what I'm gonna do is I like to slick the hair back with my brush. And today we're gonna be doing a middle part. So I just take my nail, or you can take like the back of a comb, and I just make my middle part. Now I'm just gonna work on slicking those hairs back. And remember, the fact that my hair is oily already is really helping me out in this situation. Like, it requires half the amount of product. And here's a huge tip. If you really are struggling with where you wanna put your bun, because I find when I put my bun a little too low sometimes, it looks weird. When it's a little too high, it feels weird on my head. Try and take where your eyes start and kind of just drag it with your finger right at that point and try and memorize it and that's where your bun's gonna go. It's really gonna give you like that nice pulled effect too. Okay, now at this point when I feel like I kind of have a good grip on where I want my hair to be, I just take a little bit of water and I just kind of place it all over my hair. You're kind of just like dampening the hair and it's gonna give it that like nice shine. I also find that like product goes on a lot nicer when your hair is kind of already a little bit wet. And again, I'm gonna use that brush and really slick it back. All right, and then we're gonna need two ponytails for this. I like to use one to place my hair into the ponytail first, and then I use the second one to tie it around. I feel like that's also a really, really big trick because when you just use one hair tie, it just doesn't make you feel secure. And you also just have like way less leverage. The first one focuses more on like getting that hair back tight. And then the second one is more about like making this look as aesthetic as possible. So now that I have it into the ponytail, this is when I pick up this brush and I just take it and I'm really shaping the hair exactly into the place that I want it. So for example, this is just with the brush and then this is with the sleeking comb. This literally makes your life so much easier because it's hard to get the hair to be like in the exact place that you want it when you're putting in the hair tie. And this just slays my life. Do you guys see this? Mm. And now that it's when it's in the place I want it, I like to take out my hair tie again. You see, this isn't just a low bun, ladies. There's some art to this shit. And I tie it back once again. All right, now we are safe and secure. This is what it's looking like. Just going in once more with the brush. I know, I'm crazy. And then at this point, you can really take it one of two ways. Sometimes I like to braid the ponytail. That helps a little bit more with like the flyaways. But for right now, I'm just going to take some more water. I'm just kind of use that to flatten the hair. My hair is like pretty straight right now. So I'm just going to take it and twist it a couple times. Not too hard, I kind of like it to be a little bit loose. And we're going to take it around town and just keep doing that same thing all the way until it's secure. And then this is the time that we take that second ponytail and we tie that around. These ponytails that I have are not just any regular schmegular ponytails, by the way, they're thick. All right, and bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, and then this is where this one comes in. This one's a little bit smaller. So that is what I use for just the little baby hairs. Just kind of gets to the root a little bit better. You can also use this to do your edges as well. 
And then we're going in with this Tresemme hairspray. And first I spray the top, just focus on all those hairs. And then I go in and I spray the bun and I just kind of use my fingers to make sure all the hair is laid down. Then I go in at the bottom of my hair and again, just use my fingers to just make sure that all those hairs are nice and in place, you know what I'm saying? And I just do one last spray on my sideburns and make sure that those are nice and flat. All right, so I changed. Listen, I like the white top better. I think it just, it makes me feel better. What do you guys think? All the details on my outfit will be on my Instagram story. I post like almost daily outfit pictures now because your girl's trying to get into fashion, okay? Beware for some fashion videos coming, all right? I'm just gonna give you a little 360 of what we got <laughs> right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I kind of miss doing like little get ready with me's with you guys. Comment down below if you guys want more of these. As for this bun, I hope you learned something. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.